burning data onto CD. There are two formats you can use when burning files onto a blank disk in Windows 7. One is the mastered format, which we will describe shortly. But first we will demonstrate burning to CD using Windows Live File System. You can normally record only once onto a CDR or DVDR, but the Live File System formats your blank disk so that you can add and remove files at any time, just like a USB flash drive. However, note that disks formatted with this system may not be readable on computers with older operating systems. First, insert a blank disk into the CD drive on your computer's base unit. When the autoplay prompt appears, select Burn Files to Disk using Windows Explorer. Here we will make sure that the Live File System option is selected. For more information on the different types of formats and when to use them, click this link here. Next, type in a title for your CD. We will call ours Backup Disk. Then click Next and this progress window appears briefly to let you know that the Live File System software is formatting your disk. At this autoplay window, simply double-click on the folder to open it. An Explorer window now appears where we need to place the files we want to burn. The easiest way to do this is by opening a separate folder window. So we will click Start and select Easy Way, and we can then browse our files. We are going to arrange the windows so that they are both visible, as we will be using the drag and drop method to transfer our files from one window to the other. But remember, you can copy and paste them if you prefer. Before we begin selecting our files, we will check the capacity of the disk so we know how much data we can burn onto it. To do this, just right-click this CD icon in the second folder window and select Properties, where we can see that there is 697 megabytes available on our disk. Notice that some space is already used, even though we haven't saved anything on the disk yet, and this is because the live file system formatting that we applied takes up a small amount of disk space. Now you can locate and select the files or folders you want to burn and simply drag them into this main area of the other window. For example, we will drag over the whole Letters folder, followed by a selection of image files from our Pictures folder. That's all you need to do to copy your files, as the files are copied straight onto your disk as soon as you drag them across. Therefore, there is no need to select the burn command. The live file system is ideal for backing up the files on your computer. But as we already mentioned, the disk may not be compatible with operating systems prior to Windows XP. If you want to burn a disk that can be used on any computer, you will need to use the mastered format. To do this, insert the blank disk and when the autoplay window opens, choose the burn files option like before. This time we will select the mastered option. Click next and this window appears where you can drag and drop or cut and paste your files into this area. We will now open another window and demonstrate this by dragging across some files.